Hello everyone. Welcome back to X Machines channel. When traveling through tunnels through mountains, have you ever wondered how people build this tunnel? In this video, X Machines will take you to tunnel construction sites to discover the most modern technology and tunneling machines available today. Right now, we are at the construction site of the Eppenberg Tunnel Project. This is a railway tunnel in the canon of Zollotorn, Switzerland, as part of the future rail infrastructure development plan and increased capacity on the Aarau, Olten line in the Schönen Word, Denikin section. The Eppenberg Tunnel is the core of a new line about 3.5 km long, passing south of the center of Schönen Word and will have a more direct direction than the existing road, which has a tight connection in Schönen Word. The design speed in the tunnel is 160 km per hour and it comes into operation in December 2020. At the tunnel starting area, workers are digging a deep hole in the ground, where they will assemble a tunnel boring machine to dig the main part of the tunnel. The company directly implementing the tunneling package is Marty Group, which is one of the world's leading companies in tunnel construction, with global success in implementing large-scale tunnel projects. The Martin Group is operating six tunnel boring machines with diameters up to 12.6 meters. Together with a team of highly qualified, specialized engineers, Martin can competently and efficiently execute tunneling projects of any size. Martin engineers are installing their 12.75 meters diameter tunnel boring machine for this project. A tunnel boring machine, TBM, also known as a mole, is a machine used to excavate tunnels with a circular cross-section through a variety of soil and rock strata. They may also be used for microtunneling. They can be designed to bore through anything from hard rock to sand. The drill head of the TBM pushes along up to 20,000 kN pressure. Soil and rock during excavation will follow the conveyor belt out. The TBM that drills every 2 meters will stop to start the tunnel ring mounting system. The concrete ring pieces are transported by conveyor belt from the outside to the TBM head area, at which time the hydraulic arms will lift the concrete ring pieces to install the tunnel ring. Each tunnel ring requires 6 ring pieces. Underground tunneling is among the most challenging tasks in the construction industry. When dealing with the mechanical propulsion of tunnel boring machines, it is vital to be intimately familiar with various methods and accurately assess the geology. Marty operates six of its own tunnel boring machines, diameters from 3.80 to 12.60 meters, along with the corresponding specialized equipment needed for their maintenance and upkeep. 
Their specialists pay meticulous attention to all geological conditions and have mastery of solid subsoil just as well as heterogeneous or unstable soil. Tunnel boring machines are used as an alternative to drilling and blasting, damp, methods in rock and conventional hand mining in soil. TBMs have the advantages of limiting the disturbance to the surrounding ground and producing a smooth tunnel wall. This significantly reduces the cost of lining the tunnel, and makes them suitable to use in heavily urbanized areas. The major disadvantage is the upfront cost. TBMs are expensive to construct, and can be difficult to transport. The longer the tunnel, the less the relative cost of tunnel boring machines versus drill and blast methods. This is because tunneling with TBMs is much more efficient and results in shortened completion times, assuming they operate successfully. Next, let's visit the construction site of the extension project Linthal 2015. Here, the experienced tunneling team of Marty Tunnelbau AG undertook one of the most difficult and complex tunneling missions ever. Never before was such a big tunnel boring machine used to excavate such a steep ascending tunnel, says Christian Reese, site manager. The project Linthal 2015 is an expansion project of the existing pump storage power plant Linth Limmern, High Alps, Switzerland. The expansion consists of a new underground pump storage plant. During tunneling several difficult geological conditions were encountered, stress induces spalling, discontinuity controlled failures, karst voids filled with sediments, which were not predicted to that extent. In horizontal tunneling these conditions are better manageable whereas in inclined shaft they are major challenges. Thanks to the constructive cooperation between contractor, consultant and owner to overcome these obstacles safely, sustainably and economically.
The total investment for the construction amounts to approximately 2.1 bill. CHF. With KLL, Axpo's participation amounts to 85%, the participation of the Canon of Glarus to 15%. The new power plant level of the KLL is based on a plan to pump water from the Limern Z into Mutt C which is 630 meters higher, in order to reuse it for electricity production when needed. The core of the project is a new, underground pump storage power plant between the Limern and the Mutt C, with a capacity of 1000 megawatts. For this purpose, huge rock caverns for four pump turbines are excavated 600 meters underground, at the foot of the present dam at 1,800 meters above sea level. An important part of the project Linthal 2015 is the 4 kilometers long access tunnel I. It will provide subsequent access to the power plant and transformer caverns for a cable car with 230T capacity. The turbine cavern is connected with the Mutsi via two parallel pressure shafts and a head race tunnel, and with the Limernzi via two approximately 500 meters long tail race tunnels. The Tauern Road Tunnel is located on the Tauern Autobahn, A10, in the Austrian federal state of Salzburg. The use is subject to a toll. With a length of 6,546 meters, 21,476 feet, 4.07 miles, the tunnel ranks as one of the longest frequently traveled road tunnels in Austria. The tunnel crosses under the Radstadt Tauern range, the westernmost part of the larger Low Tauern group. The north portal is in the municipality of Flockau in St. Johann in Pongau district, Pongau region, while the southern entrance is in Zetterhaus in the Salzburg district of Tamsweg, Lungau. The nearby Radstadter Tauern Pass, about 8 kilometers, 5.0 miles, to the east, has historically been a possible crossing point of the Alpine Crest. Due to the increasing volume of vehicles passing through the tunnel, the existing traffic infrastructure is not suitable, so in August 2013 the tunnel was expanded with the construction of three bridges to support the structure and widen the highway.
This is the end of the video, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more useful videos from X Machines.